This lecture, The Quiet Revolution, will focus on the origins of the French-Canadian separatist movement that began in 1960. In this lecture, we will discuss Quebec before the revolution, the emergence of Jean Lesage, the principles of the revolution, the changes that resulted, and the lasting impact. Quebec before the revolution. Prior to the 1960s, Quebec was seen as the most socially conservative province in Canada. Quebec had been led by Premier Maurice de Plessis, the leader of the Union Nationale, for nearly 30 years. He wanted to stop federal government interference in the affairs of Quebec and ensure that the traditional life and values of Quebecers continued. The Quiet Revolution begins. The election of Jean Lesage as Premier of Quebec in 1960 signified the start of the Quiet Revolution. What was the Quiet Revolution? A movement starting in 1960 to promote and reassert French values, culture and influence within Quebec. It is important to note that Lesage was not a separatist. Principles of the Quiet Revolution The Premier of Quebec, Jean Lesage, wanted to improve economic and social standards for the people of Quebec. On average, French-speaking Quebecers earned less than English-speaking Quebecers. Secondly, he wanted to gain greater recognition for all French-speaking people and grant them more control over their future. Changes result. Some of the more prominent changes made by the Quebec government included the government took control of hydroelectric projects. Management positions of big businesses in Quebec increased hiring of French-speaking Quebecers. Increased wages of French residents in Quebec. And the control of the Roman Catholic Church in Quebec was limited. Schools were no longer run by the Roman Catholic Church. The impact of the Quiet Revolution. Number one, the separatist independence movement. A growing number of Quebecers believed separating from Canada was necessary. Number two, secularization slash liberalization of Quebec. Social values within Quebec became very liberal. Today, Quebec is seen as the most liberal province in Canada. Number three, increased French-English tensions. Quebec sought special status in Canada, which angered other provinces. Number four, French culture receives greater attention. Canada would officially become a bilingual country.